my faith is Christian. Okay. So I, I would like to ask and you. And your profession, please. My profession, I am working as an accounts manager in a telecommunication company in Riyadh. Okay. So I am very much happy to be here and heard your speech. You have started with the similarity of the religions and from the speech you have told to find out the hundred percent of the faith. So from your speech I came to the conclusion that Islam is the hundred percent faith to be followed. So I would like to ask you that can you clearly emphasize about the hundred percent of Islam? This is the only question I have. Thank you. Thank you. The brother said that he heard the lecture and he has come to the conclusion that Islam is hundred percent the true religion, alhamdulillah. And he wants me to clarify openly. But naturally, since it's an interfaith dialogue, taking out the commonalities, I say, submit your will to Almighty God, the same way the chief editor said, don't you finally say Islam is the only right religion? I said, no, I say, submitting your will to Almighty God is the right religion. Because sometimes Islam may not go down the throat. The word Muslim will not go down the throat. So I say, submitting your will to Almighty God is the right religion. But if you want to say clearly, and Almighty God clearly mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the Dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 85, that if anyone desires any other religion besides Islam, it will never be accepted of him. He'll be among the losers in the hereafter. So Islam, submitting of will to Almighty God, is the only religion which is correct. And all the prophets of Almighty God taught only this. Now, brother, I'm asking you the question that do you agree Islam is the best religion? Do you accept Islam? No, that I have to think it over. Do you believe there's one God? I believe in one God. Do you believe that God has got no images? Yes, there is no God image God other than single God. Single God. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final that, messenger? That's a thing which I have actually want to ask you because as per our faith, my faith which I am practicing now, Jesus is the last uh, prophet. Uh, our faith, people's Where heart, is, that's the reason I, why I am I'm, asking I'm, about the 100%. I'm not talking what your religious priest has told you. Oh. Can you point out one verse in the Bible which says that Jesus Christ is the last messenger? No, I am not uh, by heart at the Bibles. I am a student of comparative religion. There is not a single verse in the Bible saying that Jesus is the last messenger. In fact, I quote it to you. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Now, who is the spirit of truth? Which religious personality has praised Jesus Christ besides Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Who? And Jesus is mentioned in the Quran, peace be upon him, by name, no less than 25 times. So, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is talking about a messenger to come. And this messenger is no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.